Please. Welcome to another rounding rendition, resounding rendition of <clears throat> Sunday Sips. Hi, how's everybody doing this blessed Resurrection Sunday? I hope all is well. I wanted to jump on and do my makeup and kind of highlight some of the beauty brands. As you know, March is International uh, Women's Month, so I wanted to end out the month of celebration of all things female with a bunch of my favorite products that I love to use in my makeup routine from beauty brands that are female owned. So that's what we're going to do today. And as always, I like to give you a little background in case you don't know about the brand. So we'll be talking about it and talking about the founder and how they came about with their brands. So Without further delay, hello, everybody in the chat. Don't forget to thumbs this up. And if you can't share it out, hey, Boss Babe by Jamie for eight months. Yes, congrats, sis. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Oh, please. Yes, Jamie member for eight months. I love it. Thank you so, so much for your support. Guys, if you are interested in membership like Jamie, membership starts at only 99 cents, less than a cup of coffee. And I have lots of treats for you guys. I'm going to be doing um, live streams, especially for my members and lots, lots more. So if you are considering doing that, please, I urge you to go ahead and hit that uh, button and then say that you want to be a member of the uh, Brown Girl Bella. Like I said, there are three tiers. Lowest one is 99 cents. And then Season Babes, I believe, is $4.99. And then the Bougie Babes, which is the highest tier, and that's only $9.99. All right. So hopefully you will consider that as well. But thank you, Jamie, so much. Hello, gorgeous. Yes, come on through here with that Avon. Yes, baby. Okay, so let's see what I want to do. I did my brows off camera because I don't know if Benefit is a 
female owned brand, but I do love their goof poof uh, powder. This is so good. I've had it for a while, but it's still really, really good. And it shows you like the lighter color here for the arch. And then to deepen it up is um, this color for the back half. And I use shade number five. It's not any longer available in the rose gold packaging. But if you're shade match to me, I use number five. Just FYI. And I will be putting everything down in the description box. So if you're interested and want to shop with Shannon at the end of this live, I'll upload everything that I use and I will provide links for you to go ahead and click to buy. Now, when you click these links and you purchase something, I do receive a small commission. And by small, I mean very, very small, but every everyone counts, <laughs> everyone counts. So please consider doing that. Um, your eyebrows, wait, hang on. Your eyebrows, we have an amount of their own too. I don't know my right is perfect, never left. Yeah, there's always one eye. Mine does the same thing. There's always going to be one eye that's going to be quite not the same because our eyes are not um, uh, symmetrical. They're asymmetrical. So you are going to find one eye that's going to be a little bit trickier than the other. Um, I find that when I'm putting liner on, and we'll get to the eyeliner in a sec, but when I do eyeliner, especially, I find that there's always one eye that's like perfect. And then that that other eye, usually it's the left, but I'm going to see because this time around, the last time I did my liner, my right was messed up, but my left one was perfect. So we'll see what happens today. <laughs> we'll see what happens today. Okay, I'm going to start off with priming my eyes. Lately, I've been loving doing my eyes first and then the rest of my face. I don't know why that is, but we're going to go for it, babes. All right, so let's put our Pat McGrath primer on. And as I am putting this on and smoothing it out, I want to talk about Pat McGrath because you see her a lot here on my show. You know that I love Pat McGrath. She has been in the business for over 25 years. She has worked with so many different people. Um, in 2021, the Queen of England gave her a DBE, which is the Dame of the British Empire. And that's one of the highest awards that you can bestow on a citizen. And that is because she is one of the most influential people in the world of beauty and fashion. She has worked on countless runways and she was also the beauty editor at large for Vogue. Um, and that's a title that she's had since 2017. She is is just one of those people that when you look at the trajectory of her career since she first started, it has just gone up. Her debut product was Gold 001. And when she released that, it sold out in record breaking time. Um, so since then, you know, all of her motherships, which are her larger palettes, as well as her quads, her other products that she releases. Hold, please, just one moment. Hang on. All right, babe. So sorry about that. I had to go run and get Dream for a second. She was in to something she has no business getting into. And if she does it again, you're going to go downstairs. So don't try it. 
All right. So <laughs> sorry about that. You know, sometimes I got to scold Miss Dream here because she gets very naughty. Um, she has, like I said, every palette that she's done, and we're going to use one of her palettes today, has been coveted by beauty experts, makeup artists, the whole like. And so I'm going to feature her mothership number five, which got an allure, um, best in beauty when it was released because of the color story, because of its ability to be blendable with any skin tone. So this is mothership number five. As you can see, it is a gorgeous palette. And these shades over here to um, my left, probably your right, these are what she calls her specialty shades. So these are toppers you can put on top of your eyeshadow. You can use them alone. You can layer them together, but they're always very unique in terms of the consistency. They're usually very sparkly. This one is a bake to um, powder formula. So it's going to be very, very pigmented. Um, and so I'm going to use these two to kind of carve out my eye. The first shade that I'm going to use is called, and she has the names on a separate card. So none of her shade names are on the actual product. They're in a insert card. So I'm going to start with Entrapment. And I'm going to use my Sonia G brushes for this. As you know, she's another one that is a staple fixture here on Brown Girl Bella. I'm going to start in the crease and then bring this all the way up. As you can see, Pat McGrath's formulas are very creamy. They blend easily. You don't have to dig into the pan to get what you need from this palette. It really does a great job. Hi, Lenise. Hi, welcome in. Thank you for coming. So let's do the other eye. And Entrapment is one of those colors that it just blends so well, which I love. All of her colors really do, but I don't know. I, I always reach for this. Whenever I'm doing a look with this palette, that's the first one I reach for is Entrapment. Wiping off the brush. Ooh, finally, I caught something before it fell down. We're going to go into this color right here, and that one is called Disobedient. So using the same brush, just going to tap it onto the back half of the eye and bring it about halfway through. And then with the rest, I'm just going to run it underneath the eye. Very nice. And like I said, you can definitely build this up if you want more intensity. But because I'm going to be dipping into another palette that has a lot of shine and pigmentation to it, I'm not going to do that this time around. But you absolutely can. All right. Here we go with the other eye. And like I said, if you want more details about Pat McGrath, I do a series on my channel called On Mondays We McGrath. And it's in my playlist under Pat McGrath Reviews. So if you want to see that, definitely check it out. I think I've done quite a few, but I'm going to be revamping it and doing dedicated videos for all of my motherships and then all of my quads so that we have a comprehensive 
library of everything that I have Pat McGrath. And I have just about all of her stuff with the exception of the last year's holiday palette. I didn't get the one with the purple shades in it. And now it's discontinued, so I can't um, get it now. But sometimes she opens her vault, which means that she'll bring back something that has been discontinued to um, her website. And she always has great, great sales. So if you're in the market for one and you know don't want to wait until the Sephora sale, which is actually coming up, where if you are rouge like myself, you'll get 20% off this palette. But typically, Pat McGrath will do a 30% off where you can get 30% off these, these motherships. And she sometimes bundles them too. So that's another way to save money if you love Pat McGrath, but you know, don't like Paris because these are now, they used to be $125. Now they're $128. So she did go up $3 in price. So it's up to you. I, if I were you personally, I'd wait until Mother Pat has her own sale and get that 30% off. But if you really want to get it, 20% off is nothing to snooze at either. So either way, you you win. <laughs> Either way, you win. All right. So we're going to go now into Danessa Myrick. So she is another Black makeup artist. Um, I have quite a few things of hers, but I love that she has continuously like broken barriers and boundaries in the world of beauty and made it safe for people of all races, ages, and genders to really embrace her products. Um, she started off at Kiss and Benefit Cosmetics. So the world of makeup knew her very, very well. But when she decided to launch her own brand, she combined everything that she learned and the techniques as a makeup artist to develop her brands. So her products are multifunctional and they work to um, a lot of different things. So you can do a very neutral looking look like I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into Narvana and I'm going to start to put that at the tail end of my eye because I want to dip back into Pat McGrath and blend another color that she has that is similar to this on the front part of the eye. And again, I'm using a Sonia G brush for this. So Danessa has created looks for celebrities. She's worked with entertainers in music, TV, and film. She also trains makeup artists and enthusiasts, and she has a Danessa Myricks University that she runs as well as her Teach Me Tuesday series, which is fantastic. If you have never been to one of her classes, now is the time to invest in that because she does a fantastic job and you can watch it for free on YouTube as well. So that's another great, great beauty brand for you to consider. All right, going back to our mothership, just going to wipe off this brush. And I wanted to use this shade right here in the front half of the eye. And that color is called Bronze Blaze. So we're just going to put that on. And that's going to be in the front half of the eye. Trying to be very precise with my placement because I do have hooded eyes, so it will travel upward. But once I get the placement, I can always go back and deepen up that crease line to do away with anything that rose up into 
that section. And as you can see, these two shades play very nicely together. I'm taking my time and building it up and over to marry to what I did in the back half. So pretty. I love using these shades. I mean, both have a similar aesthetic, both Danessa and Mother Pat. So it makes sense to pair these two together because both of them have that same kind of avant-garde look and feel to their approaching uh eyeshadow and how they approach eyeshadow, their aesthetic on how they they work together to put a look together. And as you can see from Danessa's, very outer worldly, very much giving you vivid colors and vivid textures. Um, she works with about three different textures here. Uh, these are her velvet chromes at the top. She also has pressed chrome flakes. She also has um, aqua chrome. So these liquefy when they are in water. So you can really deepen up your color there. And um, you can mix these and do different looks. I'm going to actually use something on the lower Lash line, going back to Danessa, I'm going to use this color here to add a little pop of color. This is called Out of Body, and it's almost like an aquamarine color. Let me grab my mirror, and I'm going to throw this, look at that, instant shine and payoff, right on the lower lash line. To add a pop of color. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I wouldn't do this, you know, for work unless you're in a creative environment that you can play around with different things. But, you know, it's Easter, so we want to throw a little bit of green in there, maybe some yellow, you know, whatever floats your boat. But I love that. Like, look at how it pops the color of my eyes right? I know you love it. I know you love it. All right. Wiping off the brush again because I'm in love with this color, Angels. It's one of those glass metallics, which is another formula that Danessa uses in this palette. And I just want you to see, let me type off the excess. Just want you to see how this looks in the inner corner. Do you guys see how it popped? So pretty. So pretty. Gives you an added interest to the inner corner of your eye that I absolutely love. Like, so, so gorgeous. She did a fantastic job with this palette. This also retails for $125, but I will tell you, I've used it so much that it is definitely worth it. Look at this. Definitely worth it to me. Hi, Terry. I'm doing well. Happy Easter. I decided to come on and just do my face. I didn't do anything for Easter, so I just wanted to come on and hang out with you guys. Hey, Deshaun on the chat. What's up? How are you, babes? Welcome in. Welcome in. So Terry is a member of my Bella Brigade. As I said, that is my paid membership of Brown Girl Bella only costs 99 cents for the lower tier on up to 
$9.99 for the top layer and then the mid layer is $4.99. So I'm not trying to, you know, hit you in the head with anything, but if you are considering supporting, I would love for you to be a member of the Vela Brigade. And for my fellas, I am going to start putting things out, especially for you guys in the realm of skincare. So look for that starting next month. I'm going to be sharing some men's skincare that I think you guys should get, as well as some fragrances and other things. Because, um, you know, Father's Day is coming up. Um, there might be graduate that's graduating, a male graduate. So I kind of want to, you know, diversify some of the things that I have shown you guys and give you more of, you know, men's stuff and, and women's stuff and, and different things so that, you know, everybody has a little dose of something. All right. So the eyes are more or less done. We're going to do the mascara next. And I'm going to feature, oh, here it is. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to feature Fenty Beauty for this one. So I'm sure you all know about Fenty, but in case some people don't, you know, we want to make sure that everybody is well represented here. But Rihanna stands by the motto, um, beauty for all. And that is no matter if you are male, female, cisgendered, not cisgendered, whoever you are, however you come and approach, she has something there for you. And so she was inspired to put a makeup line together because she felt that makeup is there for you to play with. Um, it's there for you to have fun and it should never feel like pressure and it should never feel like a uniform. It should always feel good for you to use it. So she was inspired to um, use and create Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin after years of experimenting with the best of the best in beauty and still seeing that there was a void in the industry for products that performed across all skin types and tones. So she came out with Fenty Beauty. And as you remember, one of the first things she came out with was her foundation, which shook the industry because this was the first time that a beauty line, a major beauty line at that, launched something that was universally flattering for a lot of people. So 40 shades is a lot of shades for a makeup brand to come up with come out with. Usually they only come out with between 15 and 20 shades, and it's usually catered to the fairer section on up to maybe medium. So this was the first time we've seen deep tones. We've seen, you know, an expansion of her deep range and then her very deep range. So this was the first time that a beauty line had been inclusive to a lot of different um skin tones and textures. So I love that about her. And I love that, you know, she decided that, hey, if I'm going to put out a line, I want to make it a line that is universally flattering for everyone. Today, she has not only Fenty Beauty, she has fragrance, she has a skincare line, so there is something for everyone there. And her uh, skincare line is actually very, very good. I use her fat water, which is a toner. And it is awesome. It is really quite lovely. And it lasts a long time as well. It's not one that you use it for maybe a month or two and then there's nothing left in the bottle, I still see like I have a lot left over. So I love that. So today I'm going to be using her mascara. I do have full sizes in here, but this is a travel size that I tried, I guess, at the top of this year. And I fell in love with this. 
The color is called Hella Black. And it's very reasonably priced in terms of mascaras. But what I love about this mascara is that it not only volumizes the lashes, but it gives me such a beautiful lift. Look at that. And that's just one coat. And then this is the primer side. So I love that about this mascara. Also, the shelf life, I believe, is six months. Let me look. I know Pat McGrath's mascara is also six months, but I believe this is six months as well. Let me see. Maybe it's on the product. But this is the one that I got. And I got it on sale, actually. Fenty Beauty is another one that if you can catch a good sale, grab it. I got these two. It's called Hella Thick. That's the name of her um, mascara. And then it's Cousin Black. So I got it mixed up. So it's Cousin Black is the color. And the name of the mascara is Hella Thick. And it has a shelf life of... Six months, yes. So you can use this for six months. Same with the smaller one. So now this one I got, like I said, for 19. It comes with two of them. And you can actually break them apart if you want to give one to a friend. But I got this one using my, I believe my Sephora points at the top of the year. And I fell in love with this mascara. So it's already three months in with this mascara, and I could not be happier. If you are in the market, definitely put this on your radar. I'm just flicking up the tip of the lashes to just give them a little bit more extension. Look at that. I'm telling you, you can't beat it. And if you want to wait for the Sephora sale, you can grab it then. Because I believe Fenty already concluded their sale. But if I can find the link to it, I'll put that in the description box as well. So there is the eyes. We love so far. We love. I hope we love because I sure do. All right. I'm going to take my fan brush also by Sonia G. All of my brushes are Sonia G. In case you're wondering, they're all Sonia G. But I want to put on my foundation and I'm going to use House Labs for my foundation. And let me tell you a little bit about House Labs. So House Labs was founded by Lady Gaga and her motto is high tech, high pigment, high performance and clean color. And this is a science backed product. Hang on just one second, babes. I'm gonna um, take Dream downstairs. I think she has to go to the bathroom, so. Oh, please. Oh, please.
please. So sorry about that, but I am back, babes. We were talking about House Labs by Lady Gaga. She feels that this is art that breaks boundaries. They believe that art has the power to shape the future. And they go beyond looks, giving you the tools that you need to do your own creative self-expression looks. Um, they also, um, every purchase that you make of House Labs, supports the Born This Way Foundation. And that is a um, foundation that focuses on the mental health of young people and working with them to build a kinder, gentler, braver world. So I love that about them. And all of their products are also created with kindness. So they're clean, they're cruelty-free, and they are vegan products. So we're gonna start with the foundation. And I'm just going to use one pump to cover the whole face. So I love this. They also combine science with nature. And the, the products that they have are really very high performing products. This foundation, as you can see, blends very well into the skin. They use a triclone complex, which is proprietary to the brand. And they formulated this so that it looks like next level skin. So it's just giving you your skin, but better. I'm just putting some on my hairline. Look at that, just blends so nicely. And I love to use it around this time of the year too, because guess what? It's going to get hotter, hopefully. If you're in the Northeast, you're praying for this heat to actually come. But this performs very well under all types of conditions. I've used this in the winter time, it worked wonders. And as well as in the spring and summer, this worked wonders as well. And I love it because only one pump was used and I'm still able to get such efficacy out of the product that looks like, like I said, like next generation skin. So pretty. All right, moving on. <clears throat> so I'm gonna move that over here. I'm gonna go back to... Pat McGrath, and I'm going to use her concealer in medium deep 23. And this I love because it's such a creamy product that melts into the skin. It gives your eyes such a radiance underneath. And when you're putting it on and blending it into the skin, it just melts into your skin. 
But you see that radiance I'm talking about just coming through? Look at that. So pretty. Perfect. And Pat McGrath, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Pat McGrath is another brand that also gives you a wide range of skin tones to find a shade that works for you. I kind of shuttle between medium deep 23 and medium deep 24 for the spring and summertime, just depending on how dark I get. Usually I don't go beyond medium deep 24, but <clears throat> this winter, I felt like I still had a little bit of my summer color. So the highest I went up to was 22, or rather the lowest I went up to is 22. And then um, this one is 23. And only because during the sale, when they had the 30% off at Pat McGrath, they didn't have the 22. So I was getting the 23 anyway and found that it works really well. Look at that. It's just skin, baby, just skin. That's what I love about these brands. They just melt into your skin. I love that. Absolutely love, love, love. All right, I was looking for, oh, here it is, behind, behind here. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of Pat McGrath's under eye blurring powder just to set that concealer. Just a little bit. And then for all over the face, I'm actually going to use Fenty Beauty. And this one is her Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. So it's a foundation, but it's in 390, which is the color I usually use for Fenty Beauty in her liquids. I have her skin tint in that shade. I didn't get her new concealer yet, but I have added it to my list of things that I want to get from Sephora. So I'm just patting this into the skin to take down just a little bit of the shine, but also to set that foundation which really doesn't need to be set, but as you can see from the lower half versus the top half, it didn't disturb the radiance, but it just makes the rest of the face just look matte and natural. So that is the foundation from Fenty Beauty. I love this. It's very compact too. And it does come with a powder puff. So if you want to use it on the go, definitely one to get. Mm, let me throw on some lip balm. This is Keys Soul Care Lip Balm. So good. Creamy, moisturizing. This is made by Alicia Keys. She has a whole line of skincare products, lip balms like that, that you can use. <clears throat> she also has, um, what is the one that I use? It was like a, a take the rest of the day off kind of like Clinique's. Um, uh, water-based makeup remover. Oh my gosh. So, so good. So, so good. <clears throat> Let me tell you the name of it. <clears throat> so this is, <clears throat> um, backed, as I said, by Alicia Keys. They have skincare, they have makeup, they have gift sets. And I wanted to share with you the skincare 
what the name of that product is. It is called Uh oh, do they not have it? Oh wait, hold on. Let me look it up. Ah, it's called the Nourishing Cleansing Balm Makeup Remover. Guys, I had this um, from the brand. They had sent it to me a while back. I absolutely love this product. It is like the Clinique take the rest of the day off, that kind of balm, but it's um, very emollient. So when you add water to it, it just scrubs your face clean, doesn't leave any harsh residue. It doesn't leave your face like that squeaky clean. Like, I don't like that. I like my face to be hydrated and moisturized when I finish cleansing. And usually when I have makeup on, I do a double cleansing. So I'll use that balm and then I will use my cleanser. It worked well with every single cleanser I used. And that's how you know a product is good because I put it through its paces here on Brown Girl Bella because I want to be able to tell you all with confidence that the product actually works. So yeah, Alicia, yeah, Alicia Keys. It's called uh, Keys Soul Care. And I will leave the link um, to that as well down in the description box. So um, that is a brand to know. Um, like I said, they're just coming out with now makeup as well, but some of their best sellers are their serum because it has um, niacinamide and it has uh, peptides in it as well. Their, um, uh, what is it called? The face cleanser with Manuka honey. Um, that is really good. They have a sunscreen that I have not tried yet, but I definitely want to try it. It has SPF 30 in it. And it also contains squalene, which is very good for hydration, as well as niacinamide, which is also very, very good for hydration. They have a two-in-one concealer and tint that I want to try. Of course, their um, lip balms. I have a lot of those. I have two right here <laughs> that I use. These retail for $18. I'm telling you, they're so comfortable to wear. They're so comfortable and um, they are comforting to wear as well. Then they have like facial oils. They have lots of stuff, serums. And like I said, that balm that I had tried from the brand, I love that so much. I definitely am putting that on my wish list of uh, brands that I want to grab a hold of. I've got to do my eyeliner. So this is by Tarte. I believe Tarte is female owned, but I don't have a lot of Tarte products. And I was trying to find if I had any black owned eyeliners and I didn't see any. So we're going to try this one. And this one is called Sex Kitten and it's by Tarte. Trying to do that wing. And I don't know about you guys, but when I do a wing after not putting on eyeliner in a long time, it takes me a hot minute to kind of get it. This time around wasn't so bad, but usually. Now look at that. You see how perfect that wing is? And then look at this, struggle wing. All right, we try to make that a little bit better. But I tell you, I don't know what it is. Usually it is this eye that is perfect and then this eye is a struggle. This one went on, psh, no must, no fuss. This one takes a little bit of time. Who knows? Who knows? All right. So let's move on to blush. And I'm going to tell you, I have three of these blushes by LYS, her new cream blushes. And they have me in a chokehold. Yes, I am a... Um, brand ambassador for this brand. So I do have a discount code. It is BGB 
six. So LYSBGB number six is my discount code. And you will save 20% off of your purchases. What I love about this brand is it's affordable. Everything on their site is $30 and under. Um, I love that it is also a clean beauty brand. And I love that it is black and female owned. So um, Tish is trying to diversify the clean beauty industry. And she is on a mission to get more people into the space. This is a very thoughtful collection. This is a hybrid of clean formulas. They have a universal shade offering. Look at this. Look at this blush. I tell you, and I kid you not, the luminosity. Look how glowy that is. And I'm just using another Sonia G brush just to punch it in. But look how beautiful and how quickly this spreads across the face. Usually with cream products, you have to be careful because sometimes they can lift up your foundation if you did your foundation first. So a lot of people are doing that underpinning where they put all the cream products on and they just blend that through. I'm actually going to put a TikTok together kind of doing that as well. But I just love the way this looks. And she also has bronzer. She has uh, mascara. She has a lot of different products for you to try, but everything is under $30. Look at that. You know, I love me some blush. Look at that shine. Like I love when products just make you look like you, but better, right? It just makes it seamless. You know, it doesn't make it seem like, oh, she put a pile of makeup on. No, you didn't. You, you wanted to, you know, highlight the things you wanted to highlight. I don't feel like it's a lot. You don't have to do the boldness underneath the eye. I do it because, you know, I love that. But if you're going out to, you know, somewhere where you have to be a little bit more conservative, don't be afraid to use Zenith Myrix because you can use these colors and subdue the colors down. They blend out like a dream. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I have, um, I think every... Lightworks palette, because this is a Lightworks palette as well. This is Lightwork Volume 4, which is Chandescent Palette. So I have the three, I have the four, I have the three, and I have the two. So I didn't get the first one, but I have the other three of her um, Lightworks palettes. And then the LYS. Oh my gosh, I have bronzer from her. I have foundation from her. I have powders from her. I love them all. I love them all. So if you want me to do another deep dive of LYS, let me know in the comment section and I will be more than happy to do that because I truly, truly love the brand. All right, going back to Charlotte Darling, we're going to use her um, airbrush bronzer. Look at this. This is when this actually, when this product was released a few years ago, I said to myself, okay, she she wants, she wants our coins. And she absolutely does. She wants her coins. So let's talk about Charlotte, darling. So Charlotte is another makeup artist that has been in the business for decades. Um, she has also been honored by um people, her peers for change making and inspiring makeup. Um, she is highly regarded. She's very influential. Um, she was raised in Ibiza and grew up surrounded by artists, musicians, actors, writers, and knew that she would pursue a creative career from the onset. 
and she did. So she is one of those makeup artists that believes in the transformative power of makeup. She said that to create uh, makeup for her and to put makeup on, felt she felt more confident, she felt more attractive, and definitely more empowered. And that's what she wanted to infuse in the creative direction of her line. So I love that about her. Um, I love that she still works as a um, runway uh, makeup artist, her and her team. They have created brands for... Uh, Mac from Armani, Burberry, and also Tom Ford. And again, like I said, she's another fixture that is on the runways as well. And she's done a lot of magazine work as well, features in magazines. So I have also a lot of her products. I have her foundations, bronzer. I have a lot of her face palettes. This is another one. This is the Glowgasm face palette. And I love this because you can use this for whatever you want. You can use these rose gold shades here. Let me do it like this. I don't blind you. So these two are highlighters. This one is a bronzer. And then this one is a um, blush, but you can also use it as a highlight also. I'm just going to take this gold color here because I want to do a nice highlight. So let me take a brush. And because these are baked in, I got to really swirl it into the pan so I can dust it onto the high points of my cheekbones. And you can also use this underneath your brow as well with what's left over. Right? Right? We love it. We love it. It's all about female power. Go female power, right? <laughs> you glow, girl. I love it. Buffing that in. And I'm going to take Pat McGrath's loose powder. And I'm just going to tap my brush into it. I'm going to wipe it off first. I'm going to tap that into the loose powder. Tap off the excess. And this I love to use as my finishing powder just to buff into the skin. Again, this helps keep the makeup from moving from any perspiration that you might have throughout the day. Helps keep it a little at bay. But as you can see from using the house labs, it did not take away the luminosity of the skin. It still feels very, very luminous and looks very, very luminous. But at the same time, mattifying the look. Perfect. I love using Mother Pat's products. You know, because I know what I'm going to get each and every time. I know what I'm going to get when I, I put on something from Pat McGrath. Actually, from all of these brands. They have not failed me yet. Each of these are unique and special in their own way. And they provide coverage and uh, makeup that lasts throughout the day. So, so pretty. Finally, let's do these lips and let me find a lip pencil. Let's throw that on. Oh, hi, Lou. How are you? 
Welcome in, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share it if you care. There we go. And since I'm using a red pencil, you already know what I'm going to use, right? <laughs> so I am going in with Forbidden Love. This is her Pat McGrath and Mark Jacobs collaboration. Love. Here we go. Voila. All right, let's spray her down with a little LYS. And that there is the finished look, babes. So today to just review quickly, we have reviewed lines from Fenty Beauty from Charlotte Tilbury, from Pat McGrath, from Danessa Myricks, from House Labs. And am I forgetting anybody else? I don't think so. But <clears throat> I will put the links to all the products that I use in the description box while this is cycling through. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this finished look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I have new videos that are coming out this week. Of course, we have our March must-haves, which is my favorites video that I love doing each and every month. So look out for that. And I do shout out a babe who put a comment in to the comment section um, towards the end. So make sure you um, see it all the way through. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them in the subscription box. I'm sorry, drop them in the description box, the comment section, and I will try to answer it if you have any questions about the look or about the products or anything, <coughs> excuse me, related to beauty, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. Oh, thank you, Terry. He said, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, babes. I'm going to let you all go. Have a happy rest of your Easter. And until next time, you have now been bellified. Bye, babes.